artist friends! Today we are going to make some tasty line art soup. I know, super silly, but it will help us practice making different kinds of lines. So first we're going to start by making a little bowl at the bottom and we'll try writing the words my line soup. Give it a little spoon and then the rest of the paper is where you get to practice making different kinds of lines. So I'll show you how we're going to start. Again, as always, you can start with a pencil and then trace with a marker at the end to be able to see it a little bit easier, but I'm going to start right with my marker at the very beginning. So to make our little bowl of soup, I'm going to make a skinny oval near the bottom part of my paper. So skinny, skinny oval means we're going to come with a super gentle curving line and then come to the top, super gentle curving, kind of like a flat little pancake. Then we're going to make a rainbow line that's upside down for our bowl. So for this one, I'm gonna come down this way, come back up and touch this little edge, boop, right there. That's my little bowl for my soup. Now I like to make a spoon that kind of comes out the soup, for, so for that, I'll come around with another skinny little line like this, and come back and then color it in just so that it stays a little bit different from my bowl. So again, I made a skinny little kind of worm shape and then tucked it inside the top part of my bowl. Then I'm gonna make my bowl not be floating in the middle of my paper, but again, be standing or sitting on a tabletop. So I need that awesome horizon line where my sky and my earth meet. So I'll make a line to touch the bowl, lift up my marker as if I were to keep drawing that line and then when I hit the other side I'll come back out. Now you could make up your own pattern for this little space down here. Sometimes I like to do some lines that extend out like rays because it makes it look like my soup bowl is going back into the distance but today I'm going to keep it simple and just make some little polka dots on the tablecloth. So some nice big oh, um, big circles. And remember, sometimes when you make circles that go off the edge of your page, it helps make your drawing look like you've considered the fact that it doesn't just live only on the paper, but it, that it would go off the edge. Okay, so now we need to make the words my line soup. So first we're going to make the letters M, Y, real tiny, and then line soup will make it nice and big. So line, we spell, L, I, N, E. And I'm doing mine in capital letters because I like how big and bold that is. And then I'll write soup right below it with these letters. S, O, U, P. And a little exclamation because we're having fun with it. Now, sometimes you can just stop there or you can turn your letters into something that I like to call art letters, which means you can add a little bit of detail like some polka dots on the end or some lines on the end to make your letters stand out just a little bit more than if they were just capital. Now, okay, so I've got some dots on there. I'm gonna do some lines on this one, some little lines on some spots on my dots here. Spots on my dots. And then, hmm, for this one, I'll just do polka dots again for lines. So now I've turned my letters into art letters. And the last thing I get to do is to invent any kinds of lines that would be expanding out of my bowl. So let's say I'm gonna start with a marker here. I'll start from this part right inside my bowl and I'll try making a line. So this one, oh, what kind of line is that? It's a straight line. Let me try another one. This line right here, ooh, ooh, that actually looks like a noodle, is a wavy line. So you can start right with your coloring tools. This line right here, you know Mrs. K loves the sound effects. This line is a zigzag line. So now you can keep using your coloring tools, try inventing some new kinds of lines or some lines you've maybe never made before, like dashed lines or dotted lines or curly lines. Ooh, this is gonna be a skinny one. Ooh, that are coming out of your line soup bowl until you have so many lines that you would wanna eat that tasty little soup. Okay, I'm gonna go like this, curl the other way. Whoa. Whoa, I'm overlapping some colors. This is getting crazy. Oh, looks like a tasty line soup though. I think for sure I would take a chomp out of that. Maybe I can make some lines that are two lines thick, like that. That looks like a nice thick line. Let me try one more. Now after you make your lines, hmm, let's do a wave line like this. After you make your lines and you feel like you've filled your whole paper, the final step is just to color your line soup bowl. 
So when you're done making a whole bunch of kinds of art lines that fill your page, then you can simply color in the bottom and consider yourself an awesome artist. I'm gonna finish by making some little polka dots that are following each other like a little line and they can overlap and go in front of each other until they're off the page. Good, now I just need to color my bowl and my dots and I'm all finished with my tasty line art soup. It sure is fun to think of different kinds of lines and how could I forget a little steamy soup line coming out the top with a little curl at the end. I can't forget my steamy soup lines if I'm making line soup. That is a great way to end. My friends, I hope you had fun using your creativity to try making different kinds of lines. Remember, you are amazing, you are resilient, you are strong, and I love you. We'll see you next time, artists.